All across the Quinchfield Highland Valley Railroad, engines were getting startled left, right, and center. And it was because of Alastor's scary voice broadcasting on their radios. And each time they would hear Alistair's voice, Alistair would be nearby, smirking. This is so much fun. This is going to be an amazing broadcast for me. This is the moment I love this broadcast. <laughs> Driver, get me out of here, please! Jersey, calm down. No, no, I want to go, I want to go. Get me out of here. This kept on going for a while until Aiden finally had enough. Okay, that is it. This is where I draw the line in the sand. Aiden, what are you going to do? I'm going to stand up against Alistair and convince him to leave. What? Aiden, he'll kill you. No, he won't, Ruben. He's been doing this for way too long, and it's about time someone taught him a lesson. But Aiden, he'll kill you. You'll never know what he's capable of. I know that, Quinchfield, but just look at Mitchell. He's been scared stiff, and he is in the shed shaking right now. Just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Aiden, you really do have a lot of guts. I know. That's why I'm going to go find him. Be careful, Aiden. I will. I'll be okay. Trust me. And with the blast of Aiden's whistle, Aiden headed out to find the radio. The other engines hope that Aiden will be all right. right in front of him, smiling his wicked grin. But Aiden wasn't afraid. Hello, Alistair. We meet again, after all these years. I known you back in the 30s. During the Great Depression, that is. It's been years since I last saw you. Well, well, if it isn't Aiden to Louisville and Nashville Pacific. I have just made my presence known, Aiden. Just because your kind doesn't mean you can't stop me? I'm afraid you underestimated me, Alistair. 
Just because you're evil doesn't mean you always win. I'm always kind and well-mannered to my friends. And I don't let any silly demon try to take my friends down or even scare them. But this behavior of yours needs to stop, Alistair. You're scaring my friends left, right, and center. And I'm not standing for any of that. Aiden raced off as fast as he could away from Alistair. Why, you little get back here! But what Alistair didn't realize, Aiden had lured him into a trap. But when Alistair finally caught up with Aiden at Quinchfield Highland Valley, there standing in front of Alistair was a man dressed in black. And Aiden knew who it was already. Mr. Clinton, the controller of the railroad. When Alistair saw Mr. Clinton, he froze in fear like a statue. Uh-oh. Listen to me, Alistair. I know you were trying to use the railway broadcast system on all the engines so that you could use it for your own broadcast. Now you listen to me. Railroad broadcasting radio systems are not a toy. You tried to have it for your own personal broadcast radio show. Railway radio systems are not a toy, and you are not a pop star. Mr. Clinton, I can explain why I'm here. I just wanted to broadcast, that's all. I understand what you're trying to do for your own broadcast show, Alistair, but you must understand that messing with radio equipment and railroad equipment can lead to very serious consequences. And you're not a pop star. And besides, railroad equipment is nothing to mess with. And if it happens again of your broadcasting system, I shall find ways to cut you down to size. What I'm saying is your broadcasting show will be, well, <clears throat> offline. Need I say more? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. <laughs> Now you understand what happens if you mess with the radio system on a railroad, Alistair? Yes, I guess you got me good. But I think your coming here might have a solution of how to deal with those villains and Dave and Larry for that matter. They have been bothering us a lot, but if they try to do that again, I think you know how to handle them, but not harming them in any way. Yes, Aiden, understood. After that day, Alistair had learned an important lesson. He should never mess with radio, equipment, or anything else for that matter. But he knew that if any bad engine or villain would come across any of Aiden's friends, they would have him to answer to. Those villains will get a scare. They deserve to bother for bothering others. 